The White House's proposed budget for Northeast Ohio's NASA Glenn Research Center and the Neil Armstrong Test Facility in Sandusky involves cutting more than 500 jobs over the next year. News 5's Clay Lapard has been digging into the numbers and the impact all day. Robin, Katie, if this proposed budget happens and there's no changes, that amounts to cutting almost 40% of all of NASA's federal employees here in Northeast Ohio. Three, two, one, boosters in ignition and liftoff of Artemis 1. As the push for the moon and ultimately Mars continues, the work on the ground here at NASA Glenn looks to be scaled back as part of the agency's proposed budget, which News 5 obtained and confirmed. Right now, Glenn employs about 1,400 civil servants. This proposal calls for trimming that number to 837. A more detailed look at the budget shows Glenn's aeronautics program would be just about cut in half from about 400 to 182. We've highlighted Glenn's aeronautics division over the years, from a push to bring back commercial supersonic flight over the continental United States to helping map out a highway in the sky with more drones and self-driving aircrafts. Concerning cuts for Beju Shaw at the Greater Cleveland Partnership. Cutting back on innovation, we think is not only bad from a job loss perspective, but in terms of the types of innovations that NASA Glenn in particular creates, not only for their agency, but for the world, has significant ramifications. The only NASA facility hit harder than Glenn staffing-wise would be the Goddard Space Flight Center in Maryland. And I think this is where we're trying to get more information. We're trying to understand sort of what was the rationale behind what we think agency-wide is a drastic cut. We need to be leaders in technology. We want NASA to grow here. Earlier this year, a plethora of politicians made their pitch for NASA to move its headquarters and its 1,700 employees to Northeast Ohio and Glenn Research Center, citing a low cost of living and an existing NASA footprint. If the federal government and President Trump is serious about cutting the cost of waste, fraud, and abuse, and how to relocate other departments and agencies throughout the rest of the country, there is no better spot than Cleveland, Ohio. This budget proposal does not mention any plans about moving headquarters when its lease is up in Washington, D.C. in 2028. And we're told no decision on that has been made. A spokesperson at NASA's headquarters emphasized with News 5 that this budget is not finalized. Lawmakers are slated to review and, if necessary, tweak the budget in the coming weeks. However, NASA's acting administrator did say in the budget, quote, we must continue to be responsible stewards of taxpayer dollars. That means making strategic decisions, including scaling back or discontinuing ineffective efforts not aligned with our moon and Mars exploration priorities. And again, this is NASA's proposed budget. Lawmakers will have a chance to review it before finalizing it. We have reached out to our federal lawmakers for their reaction on this. But Rob and Katie, employees we spoke with who did not want to go on camera, said this was something they have never seen before happen at this center. And they are worried about if it could happen. The if it could happen. A real point of pride for our city. Clay, thank you so much for your reporting there live for us tonight outside the NASA Glenn Research Center in Cleveland.